Oracle uh, pretty recently introduced this new certification, Oracle Fusion AI Agent Studio Foundation Associate. And uh, yeah, because it's a foundation associate, Oracle generally offers it as a free. And uh, this is specific to Oracle Fusion, which is, of course, an ERP. And uh, But most of the uh, topics on which the questions are is related to A agent. So uh, first, we need to understand what is an A agent. And even before doing that, there is uh, another free certification in earlier, um, earlier episodes itself, I have said this. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure A Foundation. They introduced about two years back. It's around 2023. And this, this course is free as well. So I would strongly recommend uh, to take this course because if you look at the topic of coverage, it covers uh, introduction to foundation, uh, introduction to machine, um, machine learning, and um, uh, it, it has introduction to generative and LLMs as well, which is large language models. Of course, there is a coverage on the Oracle part of it, which co covers about uh, um, fifteen percent. But otherwise, um, the about I would say 30, 30 45 or close to sixty to sixty-five percent is generic. Uh, generic topics talks about supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Um, all this are being covered. So it's a kind of a give you, you can go through the course and uh, take this certification that the certification is free as well. So I would uh, recommend that um, because it is free and you have a, you can access the courseware also. Um, I would strongly recommend going through the course. It gives you, uh, because you get a certification as well. I would recommend everyone uh, that is uh, even for registration, you don't require uh, anything like a credit card or something even anyone uh, college students anyone can go through the uh, courseware and uh, attempt this certification so that is the first one um, i mean introduced about a couple of years back itself so if you had not attempted it then i would strongly recommend uh, to go through uh, this course certification first which is a foundation associate and as i said repeatedly it's a free one and um, the other one that is uh, this month and um, around um, June, they have introduced, May and June, they have introduced uh, Fusion. But of course, that is Oracle Fusion is an ERP. So um, in that, how an AA agent work? So the certification is around that. So and again, if you look at uh, certain topics are um, generic. But yeah, you need to understand, first of all, uh, there is a lot of discussions you know, going on. You have heard about the generative AI, which is... Um, which is chat GPT and uh, many are there. But um, what is this A agent? We've been working on coding. Then there is Copilot as well, which can give you um, the appropriate IDE will be there where you can uh, have your codes and uh, that will, um, the Copilot will work with the, your the LLM to get the code. And if you, from the explanation perspective, uh, if you look at it, any uh, software program that can perceive and make decisions, takes action, to achieve a specific goal. You can have that as a uh, part, of, uh, part of the workflow itself. It can interact with LLMs. The AI agent can work with the LLMs, that is the your chat GPT. Because chat GPT is more open, uh, it can access across the web, but then ERP is always closed because you have to ac have access only the uh, people, the functional consultant of the company or the business users can access the um, ERP product as such, Oracle Fusion or Oracle or SAP, whatever it is. So AJ, A agent, you can think of it as it will work with the ERP and it can work with LLM as well uh, on the um, at the same time, depending as how it can be, how it is configured. So that's the A agent. Um, instead of a, a man or a person or a consultant working and interacting with the ERP environment as well as the uh, large language models like chat gpt and then trying to uh, figure out or find out uh, and coming across the decision the a agent which is inbuilt into the fusion or erp software will have access to all the uh, respective data within the erp as well as to the outside world uh, with the llm and then they can use that for taking the decision with or without any uh, intervention of uh, um, the manpower uh, with and without why i'm saying that is that sometimes you want to have ensure that whatever the results are you want to ensure that someone reviews it and approves it take for example i'm just giving an example suppose a person goes there and he wants to have 
some kind of a uh, video promotion for his product then probably gets a quote on the uh, kind of a paper from someone and uh, probably gives it to the a agent the a agent will recognize that quote as um, a quote for the uh, video production and uh, uh, then it will check whether the erp whether erp software whether there are appropriate vendor then it will sends out the um, uh, request for quotation gets back the quotation and then probably you have to review it and approve it uh, otherwise if it is an auto approval it can take it to the quote stage and so on and so forth so that way yes um, the a agent can work with the llm also if there is uh, for video production there is no vendor in the erp system then he could uh, probably get into the llm find out the best fit uh, vendor and then uh, ensure he gets the quote and then that quote uh, is then uh, probably um, sent across to the user and then he approves it or enters into the erp system for uh, appropriate um, uh, processing and getting the purchase order in place so that's a in a nutshell about the a agent now it works in the uh, erp as well and other example uh, if you look at it uh, the all these chatbots uh, are all works another example of uh, the uh, a agent self servicing car virtual assistant all these are a uh, agent themselves so there is a different between the generative uh, generative ai and ai agent a agent is so you can think of it it can work internally within an erp system or any business system and with the external generative ais as well so it can both um, work internally and externally um, because they are agents there is one more thing called agentic ai which work with the combination of ai agent so these are difference but coming back to the point yes um, if you have if you have time interest then probably because it's, uh, free of cost you can take um this test as well apart from taking the first initially if you are not taken then you could uh, anyone can uh, take this test a foundation associate and then yes uh, you can take the um ai agent studio foundation associate as well uh, and as i said it's uh, free of cost and you get a certification also you get a certification as also um once you attain the passing score of 65% thank you